what is the use of this uh, uh, you know rolling months i'll just show you an example here rolling months means it shows the cumulative sum of uh, the data in a specific interval that's what the rolling month uh, is so in this in this topic i'll just show you how you can create uh, a object and you can display the data in a monthly interval and the data the wall the value which is going to be displayed will be not total of each month rather it will be the total of the cumulative months or total of the last let's say three months okay so let's say today is uh, september so it will show the data of september august uh, and july okay july august september same way in october it will show you august september and october's total so before that i have the date uh, value over here in this table transition date and we are going to display the data of month wise okay month wise and i have uh, you know 12 months in a year so uh, but we have multiple years in this table okay so first of all i'll just create a another column which will display uh, month and year okay you can go to uh, this table view over here i have to first create the fields and then i'll map into the uh, visualizations so transition date is my uh, you know original field of the table so i'll just create a new column here we have a choice a new column write a dax expression that creates a new column in the selected table okay so first of all i'll just uh, create a column from the, in the transaction date okay here in this column i will display not month not year rather month and year okay so this will have the month and year data so this is my dax editor where i can write the scripts so from this transaction date i'll derive two columns transaction date it has a property right properties are like date month you know quarter uh, years and all so i'll take it as transaction date dot month so this will give me a data of months january february march like that from the date and then ampersand ampersand is a keyword which is used for combining two columns okay it will simply append two columns data so ampersand in double quote hyphen i'll combine those two columns with hyphen and then again i am percent then date dot year okay so just see this syntax uh, transition date its month am percent hyphen and year enter you can enter or you can click on this tick mark so i've got a new column over here as month year so with this column i have to write a measure which will give me rolling 3 months of total rolling 3 months of total okay so i'll i'll select this transaction table uh, here and then click here new measure this measure name i'll give as uh, rolling sum of 3 months utv quantity here in this function i have to write as calculate so calculate is a function which will you know give a shape to multiple uh, methods here so here i have to write sum i want a sum of uh, quantity right sum of quantity 
So you can just make an aggregation. So normal sum will just uh, give you summation of uh, data, overall data. But calculate function will give you summation of overall data followed by multiple conditions. Okay, conditional sum. Then come on. There's a function called date in period. Date in period. Return a date from a given period. Okay. So this date in period function returns a dates from a given period. If I'll give, uh, let's say, uh, period would be, let's say, from today to last three months, today to last six months, this will return the data in that that format. Okay. So here, uh, current date will be taken as, uh, let's say, transition month and year. Comma, from what extent it will take from last stage um, last stage where I have to write date months and last minus 3 so this minus 3 would I am given is uh, the period right from which I have to close the calculations see this date in period function is going to return the data of last three months to till um, from today's to last three months always you know, in any month you are calculating, let's say today's month is September, it will take uh, the data of last three months from September. If today's month is uh, August, it will take the data of last three months before August. Okay, so this way it will consider. Calculate function is closed. Now, uh, I just have to, okay. Here, this is a month and year column. So, let me change the data type. It is ideally a text, so it should not be text, it should be date. And the format I have to choose is Month and year like this. Okay. So I've got uh, two columns. See, normal. I I have a normal quantity. I have a rolling month of quantity. So just to give you a difference, I'll just so so uh, I'll add two. Measures into this uh, column. So uh, let me take it to table box. In line chart, uh, you are telling, but in line chart, you won't be able to understand properly the difference is how it works. Okay. So I'll take this month and year to column. Ideal, ideally, uh, it is a date type of data, so that's why it is evaluating and it is converting to year, month, quarter like this. So you can just choose the exact uh, data, how it should be looks, month, year, like this. And uh, I'll take normal quantity, okay? Not rolling month first. I'll take normal quantity. This is the major sum of quantity is this. And then rolling month uh, sum of quantity. Okay. So, uh, two quantities I have added. Now let us understand the score. January, so here uh, it will be difficult how we can, uh, you know, uh, check the summation is working or working. I'll just convert uh, this data to Excel, okay? So this is the normal sum, which shows the January month sum. This is the sum of uh, February. This is sum of March, April and so on. 
but this data is showing like sum of uh, January okay before three months there is no before three months data so that's why this February it is this is so you know cumulating before three months data like this this and third month is not there March is nine thousand so this is summing up this this and this so in order to check whether this data has been correctly evaluated or not I can just convert it to excel so it has a feature to convert to excel export data okay so the data has been exported to excel let me check uh, to the excel whether these are working or not properly now let's see january 2010 february 2010 till uh, december 2010 again january 2011 and so on this is the data has been uh, listed out here now let's see the trend january 2010 has a quantity of 3586 the rolling month is this. Now when I just see the February, it is 6,500. Whereas in the February, exact data of the sales of quantities 392992. So it is the rolling month's total. How it see how it works? This plus this. You just select see the sum of the data. 6578. This is the sum. That's working perfectly. Same way, this. Okay. This plus this plus this. If you choose, you see the total 9189. This is also working perfectly. This is also fine. Now, this. So, how it would be displayed? It should not be displayed like 4. Okay, it should be displayed from uh, current month. Like it is April month data, April, March, and Feb. Okay, it is 8550 and the total is 8550. Okay. So this is how the rolling month total work in Power BI. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.